From the uh, Khobobo Sep region, uh, Namibia, uh, Brandberg quartz on a matrix. Now, I find this one quite, quite interesting, quite different and quite unusual. Uh, the matrix underneath uh, would be most likely a basalt. Ah, there we have the basalt. And then sitting on top of that are almost greenish uh, uh, calcite crystals. And sitting on top of that would be this quartz crystal. Now, I don't know if we have some amethyst in it. Um, I don't see any purple. Of course, if you see purple in a quartz crystal, you're looking at amethyst. What is interesting here is the structure on the on the quartz crystal. Uh, have a look at that. That's quite unusual for the the Brandberg quartzes. Uh, from Brandberg, we used to we used to bright lustrous um, little vags and little pockets inside the quartz crystal, reflecting light back, which gives us almost a Swarovski feel. Whereas this one has this underlying patterning on the base. It is a little bit overexposed as we're seeing it here. I'll just run it across like this. You can see there. Lovely little guy. Um, nice contrast with this this bright explosion sitting on this rather uh, pale matrix. All the way from Namibia. I'll give it another turn for the turntable. So from a display point of view, going around like this. I think there may be a touch of contact on the on the termination, if I'm not mistaken. Let's have a look again. I just the reason for my selection here was this this interesting uh, formation on the side of the crystal. So when you're looking from the top down, this is the effect you know. Let's have it around like that. There we go. That's pretty accurate of what you're actually going to see. So I'm just killing the light a bit from the top.